To make these balloon columns, we are going to need a number balloon, two different colors of regular balloons, and some curling ribbon. First, we're just going to start by blowing up all of our balloons. If you decide to make a column the same size as mine, you're just going to need 16 balloons of each color. And it's definitely worth it, in my opinion, to use an air compressor or buy a pump in the party section to blow all of those balloons up. And when you're doing that, you just want to make sure that you're getting them as close to the same size as possible so that they all look similar when we build our column. Once you've blown up all 32 of your balloons, you're just going to start tying the like colors together. So two greens, and then you're taking the ends and you're tying them in a knot and you just continue this until all of the balloons are paired together. So now we're just gonna take those pairs that we have already tied together and begin twisting them around one another. You only need to twist about three to four times. You'll know when they feel secure and then set it off to the side. The important thing to remember here is to make sure that the colors are alternating when you're finished so you don't want two green or two yellow touching one another or you won't get that swirl on your column. So you're just going to repeat this step until all of your balloons are in these nice sets of four. Now we're going to go ahead and tie our curling ribbon to our balloon weight. I got mine at Walmart but they also sell these at Dollar Tree or Party City. Just tie it in a few knots until it's secure and then make sure that you do not cut it. You want to leave the ribbon attached to the spool. So now we are ready to begin building our columns. We're just going to take one of those sets of four that we have prepared earlier and drop it on top of that balloon weight. And then you're just gonna take your curling ribbon and wrap it around each balloon. You just wanna wrap it around and then pull to the center and move on to the next, wrap it around and pull that curling ribbon back to the center. So once you've wrapped it around each balloon, you are ready to move on to the next piece of the column. You're just gonna take your next pod of four balloons and place it on top, making sure that that curling ribbon is in the center and you will just pull it up and begin the same process of wrapping it around each balloon and pulling that ribbon to the center. Also, since this is not the um, base column, you are gonna go around the bottom balloons again as well in order to keep both layers intact and really nice and close to one another. And each time you pick up your next set of four balloons, you want to make sure that you are putting the colors at a slight diagonal from one another so I'm going to pull my string to the center and then I am picking up my next set of four balloons and I'm going to put the colors at a slight diagonal from one another and once I get them where I want I'm going to begin securing them with my curling ribbon and here we're just going to repeat the same process as before wrapping it around each balloon and pulling that curling ribbon to the center and you also are going to go down a layer to secure the second and third rows together and from here, you're just going to keep repeating these steps, alternating the colors at a diagonal all the way up to the desired height of your column. So once you get your columns to the height that you want them, you're going to get your number balloon ready to be the topper. All you're going to do for this is tie some of that same curling ribbon to the bottom of your number balloon and just tie it in a knot a few times until it feels nice and secure. I got mine from Walmart, but they also sell these at the dollar store as well. And once you have tied it off, you're actually going to cut it this time. I'd say go down about two feet or so and cut your curling ribbon. So now we're ready to attach our number balloon to the top of our columns. So I'm just taking that number two and I'm going to wrap that string that we cut around the top layer of balloons on my column. And I just continue wrapping until I have no string left. 
And then I just took some heavy duty packing tape to further secure that number two and to get it to stand and sit exactly how I wanted it and to make sure that it would not fall or lean to the side. And once you get those numbers secure, you are finished. If you're gonna be doing two columns like I did, you will need to double the supplies listed at the beginning of the video. And I'm gonna insert some footage here of my two-year-old son seeing these columns for the first time. It was so much fun and we were laughing so hard and it definitely made for some cute photo opportunities at his birthday party. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We are so grateful that you're here. Please hit that subscribe button down below and become a member of our YouTube family. Also hit the bell to be notified of any future uploads.